Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio. I work in tech and I absolutely love it. And we've got ourselves, you've got yourself a Synology NAS and you wanna know how to set it up so that you can run a website on it. We're gonna be talking about that today. We're gonna to be talking about WordPress on our Synology NAS. Do also subscribe, clicking on that bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. All right, now let's log in to our Synology NAS. We're accessing this from my PC. We're gonna open up our web browser, log in, and then show you how to configure it as a web server. So we've logged into our Synology NAS. Now I'm running a fairly new version of the Synology NAS. If you're running an early version, the steps should be pretty similar, but just to ensure that you are running at least an update of the software on your Synology NAS to be able to actually go and configure it the way that we're doing it in this demo. Now, the great thing about the Synology NAS is it's not just a storage place for files and folders and all of your stuff, uh, whether it be for personal, for business use, you can actually also host a website on it, uh, which is great. And it's very, very easy to set up as well. So what we're gonna do from here is we're now gonna go and configure uh, WordPress, okay? So we're gonna open up our package center right up here. Now, we're assuming that you do know what WordPress is uh, before you are watching this, but uh, WordPress just makes it very, very easy for you to set up, host uh, your own website and actually customize it and make it, uh, design it very, very easy. All of the stuff comes out of the box with different themes and everything like that. Um, it is brilliant. It's one of the leaders when it comes to web page design and management, so that's why we are choosing to use it. Now, what we're gonna type into here is we're gonna type in Word, and there it is, WordPress Utility under here. Now, WordPress is an open source blog tool and publishing platform powered by PHP and MySQL. This package enables you to host a WordPress blog on your Synology NAS. Now, what you are aware of right here is that it's going to need PHP and MySQL. So we're gonna look at that in a second. So WordPress is the very first thing right here. Here is the version that we're running. Yours may be different, don't worry about that, that's fine. And now we're gonna select install. Now it's gonna go and download this off the internet um, and uh, you're gonna need obviously an internet connection for your Synology now to be able to go and grab it. Otherwise you can download the uh, WordPress installation files off the internet and then do a manual install if you so choose to. So as it says right here is when installing WordPress, Package Center will automatically perform the following operations uh, because this stuff isn't already there. So WebStation, uh, MariaDB, which is essentially MySQL, the actual database itself, PHP, and Apache, okay? Now, if you've already got some of these installed, then you don't have to go and do this. Now, to give you an example, what you could do is you could actually go into here, type in PHP, there's PHP, type in MySQL, and there's MariaDB as well, okay? So you can go and do those manually, or you can just let the WordPress installation uh, do it all for you, which is what we're going to do. So we're gonna say yes, and it's not only gonna get WordPress, but all of the other apps as well, and download them and install them, okay? So elements of that have now downloaded and installed, and now we're gonna to start to configure some of our stuff. So here is our Maria database, our SQL server. And now we essentially need to set your root master password for that database. Ensure that it's a complex password and please do not lose that password. It's a very important password because without it, you're gonna get in trouble later on when you can't access your database. Put in a complex password in there and then select next. We'll leave the port as the default. Run after installation, yep, apply. So here is the password that we now need to set up. Now this is for WordPress. Essentially what we're doing here is we're telling WordPress how to connect to the database. So it says to enter in the admin credentials for your database to then import that into our WordPress. So put in that password that you just set for that database. Take note as well that the uh, actual account is root. So on top of your root database uh, account, uh, this is now asking you to create another WordPress database, essentially a user exclusive database, as it says right here, for use for existing and new data, okay? So you're gonna create two, your root password uh, and for, for the first database and also this second database. Now it's given it a name. Uh, you can keep that as the default or you can go and change that. We're gonna leave that as the default and put in a different password into here. So make sure you know that and you keep that safe. So WordPress is now installed. Here it is, it's done. We can now click on installed right here. Remove that. 
and you'll see that you've actually got now PHP, you got WordPress, you got MariaDB, and you've got WebStation and Apache all loaded, all part of the WordPress application, okay? So now that it's installed, it's ready to go. Now we gotta actually log in, configure it, and then show you the next steps. It's gonna open up a separate tab and now start the config of WordPress. Now, if you're seeing this, that is good. It means it's opened up a separate tab. You'll notice that on the top, you've got the address bar, which is the IP address or the host name of your Synology NAS forward slash WordPress forward slash WP dash admin forward slash install dot PHP. And it shows that all the stuff in the back is all communicating together well including your database and the other components that WordPress needed. If this is not showing up, something has gone wrong, you need to go back and retry this again. Select your language. Now we give our site a title. So this is your website title. All of this you can change later on, so don't worry about that. We're just gonna say my demo website. Now this is now my username and password to access WordPress. Remember we created credentials for your database. Now this is the credentials to log in to the back end of your WordPress because essentially WordPress is a really nice, what's called a CMS, a content management system. And you may have you, perhaps you have other people, administrators, web developers, you also need to get access to WordPress and then you create accounts for them to access the back end, and that's what this is. So we're gonna throw in a username and a password that is relevant. Your email address, and then you can say, discourage search engines from indexing your site. Now, if you're gonna be having a public website, you want your website to be out on the internet, you probably do want search engines to know about it. So I'm gonna leave that unticked because I do actually want that to happen. And let's say, install WordPress. So that's now done, successful, great. Here's my username and my password is what I chose and now we can select login. Now this is what you're gonna see, and uh, you can access this very easily by, I would recommend saving this bookmark. Uh, you'll see that it's your IP address or your host name forward slash WordPress forward slash WP dash login dot PHP. That will be the full um, URL to access your WordPress site within your network, locally within your network. So I would recommend saving that. And then you're gonna log in with the username or the email that you used and then that password that you set for WordPress. And this is WordPress. This is the back end of our website. This is exactly what it's gonna look like. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff that you can do in here. You can start creating posts, right? So all of your posts are in here. Uh, there's nothing really in there. There's just one that's by default created called Hello World. You can create new posts. You can create media, pages, comments. There's a whole bunch of um, appearance stuff. So you can change your themes. Um, this stuff is brilliant. And if you've never used WordPress, this is amazing because you can make it the way that you want. A lot of themes, hundreds of themes are available for free. There are other themes, there are other plugins, there are other widgets that you can get at a cost, but there's also a lot of free stuff as well. So do have a look through here and play around with it. Um, and then once your website is ready, you just click on this little thing up here and you'll see that visit website is listed. So now we can click on this. And this is my website. So this is right out of the box. Hello World matches up with that first blog post that we saw that was created by default. So you can go and customize this particular website, the look, the feel, the colors, the fonts, the, the placement of things. Uh, you can go back into my demo uh, and this is essentially going back into that dashboard that we saw just before. Now, I will mention that this is now WordPress fully operational. The database is configured um, and everything, the PHP code and your website is all configured, ready to go, and is fully usable internal to your network. It's not external facing yet. That's sort of another thing altogether because now if you want this to be hosted online and be visible on the internet, you now need to go and of course register for a domain name, uh, make sure you've got some DNS stuff out on the internet, and then point your website, your domain register, your DNS register to an IP address on your particular um, Synology NAS right here. So we're not covering that in this video. You're gonna have to go and work with a network person potentially to go and set the right rules up, the port forwarding on the firewalls, and then to register the domain name out on the internet. And then through the beauty of magic and the internet, you'll be able to get your website, www.yourwebsite.com, whatever it is, and that will then point to this location right here. So WordPress should now be running. It is brilliant. 
I have done it for a long time and it's just great that right out of the box you can use your Synology NAS to actually host a website from home, from your office, from wherever it may be. It makes it very, very easy. Um, if you are interested in picking up a Synology NAS, perhaps you look at the one that I've got. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. It did come out only recently. You can see that in the description right there. Uh, and you can pick it up from Amazon um, and it's brilliant. Comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, so that you don't miss out on anything. Do click on that notification bell as well. Thanks again for spending the time. We'll see you next time.